Hello anyone who's watching now later on YouTube, you didn't hear along with Hello Matira Matira As of This isn't freaking staged people and I seem to have made one other mistake then though or one mistake of my own come on let the mouse go uh, yeah the music one little mistake here no not that game capture I have to play this game in forced windowed modes because yeah it doesn't have a normal windowed mode of its own so at, at the top here I have the little uh, yeah orcs must die bar and I'm missing probably like half a centimeter on the bottom but that doesn't matter too much. Anyways, welcome to Works Must Die 1. Uh, yeah, after Dungeon Defenders on Something Sunday, I was reminded of this game. And yeah, then I found out that there's an Orcs Must Die 3, which was only released in Stadia, though limited time exclusive. And since those typically last a year, the expectation is that in this month or the next, it should release. On, well other platforms so yeah I thought why not have some fun go through the original and the sequel and hopefully by the time that we're done with these and two other games just to have a break in between uh, hopefully by then the third game will be out on a hopefully. platform that doesn't suck <laughs> yeah and I'm quite glad they only made it temporary on Stadia for if they made it humble people on Stadia and see how Badly goes to stay at the moment. It would doom their games forever. Yeah, Stadia. The idea is okay, but the it's also really flawed. Since base for people who don't know, Stadia is basically uh, yeah, stream your games from ev anywhere. The problem is, if your internet sucks, then your game is going to suck. As well, they take. Here's the thing, you pay for a subscription to keep your games. So it's yeah. like seeing a puppy subscription. Yeah, and I'd heard from if you if you fail to pay this description, you basically lose everything, even if you now, I'm not sure if it if you re if you resubscribe if you get your games back. Hopefully that'd be the case. But yeah, it, it was it basically flopped on day one. Somehow still yeah. alive, but uh, enough about that. Let's play this yeah. game. Yeah, we need to force some kiss some orcs. Let's see, we have difficulties here. Apprentice, War Mage, and Nightmare. And we have some previous scores from me and some other people. Yep. Okay, who oh, renamed dear. themselves to Killy Fuck? <laughs> Either way, let's uh, have a go. Simple controls. Yeah. I've spent 300 years fighting for the Order. I've killed thousands of orcs and defended dozens of rifts. And this is how it ends. One slip and a kobold's blood and my skull cracks open on the gatehouse steps. So now the task of defending this fortress falls to my Apprentice. That's it then. The world is doomed. It's all up to me now. Rest well, crazy old man. First things first. Let's see what he left me in this spell book. Yeah, unlike with Dungeon Defenders, and over, over in general I'm going to say that this game is a lot better than Dungeon Defenders. It's, this one is only single player, but that gets uh, corrected later on. Here we have the, we have our own pick of what we bring into this, so it isn't we aren't limited to only like one or two things. Like we can pick up another weapon. We 
The crossbow is always on. We can't put this away. Since, well, we need at least one way of defending ourselves. We can also bring the blade staff in for melee. But we can start with these traps. This basic one, spike and tar. Then we also have the shock zapper, mana well, vampiric gauntlets, alchemist satchel, and the floor scorcher. Let's take all three of those. We can also see up here what sorts of enemies we'll be facing. In this case, just the orc warriors, which are, well, the basic of the basic. Single money brute! Damn it. Okay, upper left we have our health and mana. Mana will be, or ma mana will be used up when we use special attacks like this, with the right mouse button. Down in the lower left, we have our coins, which is how we well, make the, how we put up these. We can put these up anywhere on a grid, basically. But of course, some things will be limited where we can place things. Uh, these two guys here, these are guard er, archer guardians, as you can see at the top. And below the top, we there's the big obvious unleash the horde button. <laughs> Oh and also something you may have been noticing is these wisps of light. These show which route the enemies will be taking, which makes it infinitely easier to have a guess at where you might need to block things off or not. Okay, yeah, that's a bit merciful and yeah. required merciful. <laughs> For now, let's put these down. And... Oh god, that laughter. Yeah, the, the war mage is a, uh, or the apprentice is uh, a bit of a character. It, that's the kind of laughter I mean, in my early days. Imagine you having every time you got a big gun, <laughs> or anything that is very big uh, hurt. You can just as easily sell these things again for a full refund, unless they are damaged. Though I don't think traps like this can really get damaged. Uh, speaking of, a, a correction from uh, for Dungeon Defenders. You can sell uh, things in that. It's just that you have to go... Uh, you have to go into a bit of a menu to uh, sell it. I completely missed a, a shortcut menu in that when we were playing that. Uh, enough of using the words that. Yep, and don't forget, only when I give you the joke about uh, if you were a medical pad and uh, I'll tell you how to I have to walk in reply with me the, the, the name of the game. Oh? Yeah, I forgot that this game is called or Orcs Must Die, not Orcs Will Die. <laughs> you can also visibly see which traps are ready or not. Uh, this should be more than enough to keep them busy. For now. And also some... Oh, yeah. Uh, next wave coming in. Um, this one. Are you sure you angled that one right? Yeah. Just, you can see it by the flames. But we'll also be able to see it once Nora gets close enough. Oh! I got something else! The bit of a flipper! But, yeah, the special of the crossbow stuns enemies. So. Okay, that, <laughs> that didn't really stun any of them. Or any that survived even a second longer. Okay. Uh, get a bit of a low blow. Low amount. Nope. Oh, want... uh, yeah, there are multiple rounds with these levels and between in each round itself you won't be able to 
sell new uh, traps, well, sell old traps that you've placed down. You, you can put down traps whenever you want, as long as you have the coins for it. Also, in the left of the screen, you may have noticed that kill streak uh, pop up. Basically, the more kills at once with traps, or at least kills close to each other, you'll get little bonuses. So it is preferred to have kills by traps, and not to just shoot them all up yourself. Basically, you reward people for doing a Yeah. A bit of a problem with these traps that go up immediately is that by, with smaller groups, uh, they tend to get set off by the first one that steps onto it. What the heck was that? <laughs> the apprentice's victory dance. Uh, are you alright? It looks painful to him. And here we go. Aha! With the old man dead and my apprenticeship finally over, I can draw on the full power of the rift. I'll get a new toy to play with every time I defend a rift. Yeah, and that's how they're explaining how you get new items every time. Let's see. Let's go with those again. Though now instead of that one, we have the arrow trap, uh, the arrow wall. And yeah, as with any of these tower defense games, more entry points are going to open up as you go in. And over here we have a paladin, a paladin guardian. And you can guess how those guys work. Shop, shop, shop. Yeah. A little present for you. Something for your face. Uh, yeah, these spike traps are useful. They are, they are cheap. They reset pretty quickly. And if a, a horde is walking over them, yeah, they'll stab all of them. Yeah, it is a bit of a scene of spike traps in games. Either they are way too overpowered, or really useless. Also, we can jump to move around a bit better, and we also can sprint. That's handy. And also, I don't know how they get a bit of a Bruce Campbell feel from the character. <laughs> uh, maybe. Like, not that uh, low in but he has a bit of that... Uh, the personality to Okay, the easiest thing that we can do right for now is just let them kill themselves on the spikes and stun any that pack up too much together. And again, I use that and hardly stun any of them. <laughs> Find a good bunch of them and not enough. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's. Hmm. Yeah. Probably not the best idea like that, since these four are all going to be set off at the same time now. I don't actually know if the arrow traps have a longer or re equal reload. Yeah. 
Alright. Alright. Yeah, the ever traps are being set up a bit too early. Um, sell you. It'll hurt a lot. Not enough. We want to. We want them to gather up a bit. The big difference with the, between the spike traps and the arrow walls is that the arrow walls hit multiple times, like you can see here. Okay. And yeah, now we're between rounds, so we have some time to sell stuff and put new things down. Let's see. Not player. Some new decorations. <laughs> traps are just so cool. And yeah, tar traps. You can Ooh. you can basically <laughs> guess what they do. They're, but it's what they always do. Wait, they slow things on. down and make them hold easier on. targets. Hmm? Is there a thing if you put the fire traps behind the tar traps? Not really, but we can put them there anyways. This'll hurt. It would be awesome if you could put the tire on the door. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So these two. Oh gosh, that could be a terrifying. You, you get the tower, you get slow down, and suddenly the tower is on fire. Wait, tower is flammable, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I, I, I think it's used in torches and such. Hmm. But more reason for me to feel like they should have made a more flammable here in this game then. And yeah, let's put these there. They they're overlapping with this one. But oh well. Gotta be quite slow down to begin with. Um, Okay, let them bunch a bit. <laughs> uh, I guessing that orc is entering the fifth dimension. <laughs> Okay, four out of five. <laughs> okay, boom barrels. Another day, another fortress, another rift to defend. They always seem to break through the doors. We should do something about that. Uh, let's see, this was the first level where we'll have these side options, Boiling Acid. I don't know if they've reset or not. And yeah, we also get some more verticality, though, in this case. Yeah, they won't be getting up here. 
But it's uh, an introduction to it. Now, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's going to get tricky now because this hallway is wider than the others. Then let's give this one a shot. And yes, we will get flying enemies eventually. And here we also have the introduction of the crossbow orc. Let's see. How are they going to walk? That's yeah, likely going to skirt the edge of these. Actually. Okay, they only shock underneath them. So let's let's build our choke point here, even though well there is no real lead. choke point anywhere in this place. Though I guess these would count. Mm. Imagine every corridor is technically a choke point. Can you ever have too many traps? I'm thinking no. Okay. I recommend the right. A little present for you. Hmm? I don't know the name, but I feel like I heard the voice actor from where I was before. I think it's one of the voice actors that gets a lot of yawks. Hmm, it could be a typical additional voices guy. I personally do. I personally don't really recognize the voice, but then again, my memory can be spotty at times. The sensitivity on this game is also a bit high. I should maybe do something about that. Okay. forgot about that yeah in this game the old day you will also get call outs if orcs re reach certain points um... <laughs> probably not actually the best idea but I will I will fail Okay, so it does, it does shock them, but it doesn't really do that much damage. Where is it? Is it going off on its own? Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of you. Technically not the best placement, but yeah, most of the traps are designed to go off like in the middle of groups, not on the front runners. That's why I should keep shooting it. Stun bolts into the pack. Let's see about getting them stuck. Where the heck, where is Dresdman going? Okay, yeah, that got that got close. I probably should have activated one of these. <laughs> Let's see. 
Okay, the tar pits are a bit more expensive than the spikes. It'll hurt a lot. So let's. Yeah, we should. We should focus with the tar traps on for building up combos around it. But we only have the dark. We only have the arrow walls for that at the moment. So let's just focus more on just filling this entire place up with spikes. Don't we have fire ones at this one? Yeah, we didn't take that one with this time. Oh, okay. Actually, let's see how many of these we can put down like this. <laughs> the last thing you'll ever see. Yeah, this will be uh, interesting. Okay, daring one that's charging straight through. Yeah, there's still going to be breakthroughs with these guys. Just because of their sheer numbers. But, yeah, Earth. Our trap capability is limited at the moment still. If we really want to just be able to sit back and let the traps do the work for us, we'll need to get some more things. You need to speak up a bit. I said, you might be good to shoot you now with a well. Okay, you still not hear me. Okay, still more coming. Yeah. So it tells me arrows will be needed. <laughs> Is what I was trying to say. Oh dear. Yeah, the, the arrow traps can also, because of the multi-hitting, they can get more targets. But again, if there's too many, they they can body block for each other. Come on in, boys. I think this should be the last. Okay, again, a bit of a bad idea to put those opposite each other. But we still got them all. Okay, I only noticed that up there now. <laughs> hmm. Not much room to work with here. It's a short walk for the orcs from the gate to the rift. But those acid pits will come in. Yeah, now we have access to where is it? The wind belt. 
course, and pick up enemies and objects. So, yeah, basically force push. <laughs> All right. Let's see, we also get an extra slot now. So, let's go tar pits and floor trap again. Floor torture. Ooh. Yeah, uh, I should that earlier. So the term I told you know, I'll focus with a keeper on backwards. I imagine I'm going to just flip the orcs back into the fight. Let's see. Tramps also have a limited range, as you can see here. So, yeah, play, putting them here would be useless. Unless they do. Or does they need extreme enough? Or those would, would get lost? No, no, they, you, you can see by the whisk, they, uh, they'd yeah. only go around the edge of them. Yeah, it's basically one block too short. Actually, let's not put that there. Let's put that here. And then we start using this. Oh uh, yeah, any... <clears throat> Any attacks with these will drain mana. Uh, yeah, we can throw enemies into the acid. Okay, that was quite a bunch I got in there. Yeah, with these rifts, it's it's the tower defense base. If too many get past and get into it, then uh, yeah, game over. Not there. in the back there. No idea. Oh, it was the splat. Oh, there's a few. Gee. There we go. Okay, let's see, let's see. Those gone. One, this two. Won't hurt this. Ah, <laughs> in the last second. Okay. This won't hurt this. Okay, just punch up a bit. Away. Okay. Time for your boss. Oh, low on health. I yeah, we do not want to die, of course. <laughs> and sometimes the orcs will drop stuff for us. Okay, let's change this up a bit, since we have time. This will hurt. Right there, that's the spot. 
Okay, and then I like this one. Right there. <laughs> oh, they have actually. Uh, is it just me? Or they have quite a long range as well. This is gonna hurt me more than uh, we. Uh, no which one you mean around. by that? Yeah, the scorchers. Yeah, the scorchers have an, a range of two uh, blocks. Yours? And the arrows have three. Yeah. All right, all right. I see what you're doing here then. Yeah. <laughs> this way, the scorchers are overlapping halfway into this, so they won't get set off instantly the same at the same time as uh, the arrow, this arrow wall. Give me plenty of time to. Have some orcish shish kebab. Yeah, hopefully that'll mean that by the time this one is done, uh, this one will still, these ones will still be ready to be set off. Yeah, it's gonna be painful. Okay. Uh, yeah, as is more than obvious, this game has ragdolls, and basically <laughs> any game is better with ragdolls. And something that the wind belt is also useful for is just shoving them right back through the traps to go through again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what I heard. The fire gonna be still just a big burn to Just shoving him all back. <laughs> oh. Okay, I hadn't noticed that. Instead of a health bar, these traps have reset bars. I seen. They can stop working. No, it shows how long it it'll take still for them to go off again. Wrong position. Yes, that will do for now. They don't get to walk too close to the wall anyway. Oh, fuck. That little combo pop-up, that is basically when an orc is getting hit by multiple traps at once. Oh. And yeah, you get extra coins for that. Okay, fix this. I need to be careful now because I'm pretty sure once health is up, <laughs> the game is up. Uh, yeah, since this game is third person, we can just peek around the corner like this. <laughs> yeah, they will just go to dust. <laughs> Oh. 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 Okay, so we can die, but it will cost us, well, rift points or life points in the defenses. Uh, yeah, it has been quite a while since I played this game, and it, it does get tougher later on, but I didn't actually remember 
what happens when you die. Another breakdancing orc. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't actually... Okay, it did say that you can pick them up and... Okay, this is the amount of rift points that are left. That was 20 before, we died once, lost 5, so 15. And yeah, there's an upgrade system in this. Each of these skulls that we get in the levels, we can use to upgrade things. Ooh! Uh, you, we can only upgrade things once, though. And it doesn't actually tell... Oh, it does tell what it does. Let's see. Spike traps get in a short snare. Slows targets even more. Wider arc of fire. That is good. We haven't really used this one. I don't actually remember ever using these. Uh, an additional lightning charge. Hmm. Let's save those up for now. Yeah. Why do fire arc sounds then useful? Is it just me or do these attacks seem more organized these days? Works for me. I like it when all the enemies bunch up for mass slaughtering. Okay, this is going to be a bit trickier, because, well, it, our choke point here is limited in that we can only put arrow walls on one side here. Let's... Uh, where do we... Here we get up. Also visible on the mini-map. Uh, yeah, the orcs won't bother coming up here. Let's see. Spikes, arrows, scorcher. Let's also get the wind. Actually, let's do that a bit differently. Wind, spike, there we go. And. Wait. Can you put the Osgolian on the bridge to shoot, shoot down? We could, but they, they'd have a limited range of fire, of course. Let, let's have a look uh. at. Oh, we have a new enemy as well here, the Knoll Runners. Just the Kobold. Uh, uh, kobold Runners. <laughs> Fast enemy who sprints to the rifts. Yeah, those little bastards will go through first. And it doesn't show their arc of fire. Though they, they can just turn around on their own as well. And I can't put them up there. Let's have him there. And then we put down a bunch of tar traps over here. That should give him plenty of time to rain death on them from above. This won't hurt a bit. These behind for insurance. Hmm. Yeah, hmm? With what rights? Oh, you, you, you have to be right. Here we go. Okay, they're only coming from up here now, and yeah, of course, it starts off with these little bastards. Extra coin. And here come the real uh, <laughs> bastards. Okay, the archer has a pretty good fire rate, but doesn't do that much damage, actually. But he does have the benefit of not being, like, only that forward and stuff, he can shoot a little bit more by, by the area. 
Yeah, and it is only one of them. So, come on. Shooting back at them, where the arches are. And yeah, they do have a lot bigger of a firing arc. But I, I think most of the co oh fuck, that's a lot of them. Wait. Yeah, these archers are going to be more useful in larger amounts. There we go. Now they can shoot them much longer. But they can get attacked. Yep, like, and killed. Yeah, they, oh. that's, probably why they, that's probably why the British says you can put them in front and behind. Okay, at least they get resurrected. Uh, that would have been a real shit show if they... If they'd stay dead. Hmm. It's sometimes I almost feel bad for the orcs. Except not really. Let's see how many of them we can stick in here. So it's flicker on there. Hmm. Can we put you a bit further back? Doesn't matter. There we go. Okay, move these back. This will be fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, that should do well. Emphasis on should. <laughs> oh dear. These archers are going to be a priority target for us to go after ourselves. Are they? Are they're shooting in their into the back? Are they shooting into the backs of each other? I think they are. Yeah. Okay, back to traps. I think there are men still up on the bridge, like three and four and three and three and three and four. It's a man to see the flag, you know. Oh, oh, don't tell me you jackasses are going to stay dead. Traps are just so cool. They are going to stay dead. Okay. Choice to yeah. not go with Guardian reconfirmed. I think they are good. I thought you positioned them in a good spot. And that was not a good spot. Ok, 
Okay, why is, why, why is it saying combo times three? I thought the combo only went up one time with every trap hitting them. Unless they're walking between the tar traps. Well, I think there are also traps that you found on yourself. Please, they are quite bad. Okay, clear all of this out. Orc, the other other white meat. <laughs> Can you ever have too many traps? Think and no. This will be good. Yeah, the little buggers are also often fast enough to just walk over your traps. Luckily, these reset quickly enough. No cheating on the stairs. Oh, uh, no, 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 you don't. What have we got in? Done and done. Okay, only one that got through, luckily. Yeah. But, uh, okay. Yeah, n no guardians, not without some sort of protection. Yeah, I think. I think the area to predict that is the bridge you put them on earlier. Uh, I think that you also like something like you have three in the front of the bridge and three more at the back of the bridge. Like you shoot them with four ends of the pad, then you shoot the straggler. Yeah, I, I could have put tar traps right at the start of the uh, <clears throat> of the entrance to the rift and have the arches look over there. Since that would keep them in their firing line longer. And well, it did yeah. kind of make sense that the, the back line of archers wouldn't be able to shoot. Yep, and here we have Hurricane! Another we attack for our defense. I didn't know better. I think the orcs were learning. Okay, yeah, the barricade. These are going to be your friends. <laughs> Says, well, most terror defense games let you block off paths, and that is exactly what the barricade is for. Now, let's see. The standards. The question is, can your Gorgon shoot over a barricade? Yep. Yeah, then, uh, then yeah, Gorgon the barricades are definitely there to be a combo then. It is for the Archer Guardian. Mm, let's see what I'm thinking of. Yeah, let's go with the archers. Same as before. And yeah, we have two paths that they can take now. One down here, one over there. And we solve that. Actually... Instead... Uh, I did a bit of a test run to see if I still understood this game uh, enough. And then I block this off right at the start here which as you can see in the wisps once they return yeah they arrive and they bounce right back but what if I put this all the way at the back Set it and forget it. okay let's wait for it to return once more Man. Is it bouncing back all the same right here? No, nope, here they come. Okay, they they go no further than here. They should not. I don't know if they can actually jump down here. I don't think they can. But yeah, that blocks off one path, leading us a single choke point here. 
it looks like you're oh, yeah. like it's a good thing the area that put it all the wrong thing on Oh, and also something. Yeah, portals back and forth. And I only now realize that I haven't turned on this lamp here. But I'd say that my face is lit up well enough. Smile, young camera. Something for your face. Hmm. Actually... I know we don't have enough for that, but what the? Okay, audio cut out. No, no, not uh, cut out. It's glitching again. Oh. Okay, I fixed that by pulling the plug on it, and then in the voice meter, I reinstate it again. Let it look again. And that fixes the sound. Okay. Actually, while I'm here, may as well work on the audio a bit. I have it there. Let's see, does that affect it on OBS or only me? Let's see, now it's about 40 to 30. No, it's not. It's not that would have worked better if I was using the sound, the music, not if I was using the music volume. Okay, let's see. Will it drop? It actually doesn't. Or a, a bit. Hmm. I'll have to work with that a bit in the future because. Uh, yeah, as it's become a bit obvious, Drakir can get drowned out by the games at times. So I should put... I should put him on lower volume. To not have that happen as much. Okay, that has been about 10 decibels, I think. Uh, you're still are you still there? I haven't heard you speak in a bit. Hello. Did I miss you saying that you'd run off again or something? Uh I did. <laughs> uh yeah, just as I was talking about you getting drowned out by the game, I <laughs> I missed you saying that when the Yes, sometimes the the audio driver of my headset screws up sometimes, it seems. This was more a case of, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> and I thought you were to feed your and fix the menu, you thought, well, I might as well go and grab something. Okay. And expect it to be done already. Step right this way, Mr. Rourke. Hang on, there's one. Grab one again. Okay. And uh, we can consider this recording a bit of a test with this then to see how the volume goes now let's see we're at an hour about so i'll know where to look for that and uh yeah we've waited long enough They're breaking through. actually uh, not controls settings Mouse sensitivity. Let's drop that down a bit. And out he comes again. <laughs> A treat for you. <laughs> yeah, that made me. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm all a bit wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, expected the, the, to be smoke off his heart when it was there. Okay, time for you stinky bath. Starts to get your baths. Coin. Yes. Another small thing with uh, the dungeon defenders, I spoke of how the the build phase noise I recognized it from uh, sacrifice. Well, in this game, the the sound of picking up those coins is the same. Yeah, well, it it is a stock sound, so it's used well, in a lot of games. Yeah, okay. I mean, uh, give the uh, games uh, no uh, corrupt against the top for, like, come on, you have points. That's the thing called these stock sounds. Uh, yeah, it's not bad to have stock sounds. In fact, it, it probably, <laughs> at times it makes it quite funny to recognize sounds. Uh, yeah. I uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, they use the same sound in uh, Zanzara, the hidden portal. Which is another game I'll get to eventually. For now, though, we can redo our design here. That's gonna leave a mark. Actually, it's a tiny bit different. Some new decorations. Set it and forget it. Uh, not there. Oh, yes, I see what you're doing. Okay, at the moment this won't kill things by itself, but with a bit more coin we can put arrows in the walls and archers at the back. <laughs> Actually, technically speaking, we could probably box them in. But that would be pretty pricey because yeah, these, these barricades are expensive. Okay. But yeah, that's how that's how a lot of your traps are going to end up looking after a bit, getting a bit of cash. Something for your face. That's going to leave a mark. For now though, let's just fill up the floor again. Death dance this time. And yeah, these dumbasses having to walk all the way back. <laughs> he landed on the other side. Okay, just for that, you get to die on the spikes. Or you just. Or <laughs> you just head all the way back there. Uh. Okay, this should be enough. They they would be safer up there. But oh well. Be careful with my health. And the rest are going to be the long way around. Okay, that was a bit of banter I hadn't heard from the orcs before. What did he say? Uh, some, I think it was a, a mangled uh, Shakespeare quote. Yeah, to be or not to be, that is a question or something. I think that's what he said. 
Yep. <laughs> Just because I summoned you doesn't give you the right to shoot me in the back of the head. And yeah, the yeah the archers will they will uh, lead their shots on you. Actually, I well, should retreat before I get killed again. Come on, you bunch of Okay. A bunch of them are still heading back. Am I in? Okay. Into the boss with the both of you. Or not. One more archer, and that should do it, I think. Technically, tar pitch would be somewhat better. But, oh well. A combination of parts and tar would probably be a good idea. Alright, let's see. From one more. Okay. And just in case. And now we can probably sit back and just watch. Not that the word William error. Is that a liver? Yeah, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have this crossbow on or equipped. Okay, I'm, I'm... What the hell happened? Did two kobolds rush past all of that without me noticing? Oh, crap. Okay, we can't sit back yet. <laughs> okay, at least it was only one archer that they downed. Maybe an extra trap? Like extra layer of arrows? Somewhere else? Uh, yes, what are you doing here? Okay, I guess the push broke them a bit there. Uh, yeah, the AI for this game isn't perfect. Or the pathfinding isn't perfect. Okay, let's see. Barricades are cheaper. We obviously want that one because 
these things are basically essential. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know, gold just gets cheaper. Yeah, but 14 is a bit much. Let's upgrade the tower traps instead. And yeah, the spring trap. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I mistook the scorcher to be. Well, the scorcher sort of has that same effect. Ben Halls, one of the oldest of the rift fortresses. The paladins say this place is haunted. I don't know about that, but it sure could use a good dusting. Okay, I, I have to admit I hadn't used this one much before, but it's growing on me definitely. So let's go with the standards. Um, yeah, the archers again. And uh, this time we have a new enemy. We don't have any uh, kobolds, but we do have ogres. Yeah, now they're, they're going to start throwing, to, uh, you know, throw tankier enemies at us. Yeah, I saw that the ogre count as five points. Yeah. So you definitely don't want one single it, ogre to interact. Let's see. Yeah, this should block all entry to this way. Yep. So now we just have one stroke point to worry about. And yeah, we're, we're getting more money as oh, at the start point. now. They, they probably want you to actually trap, uh, well, both of the halls, but it's just much, much easier to just block one off. <laughs> It'll hurt a lot. Actually, can we immediately start on the path with this? I like this one. <laughs> and yeah, even though we upgraded these, they've only become 100 coins cheaper. And yeah, the reason that is can they do a lot of help? Yeah, depending on how many barricades you need. And one thing here to note: if I a put this down for here, you, one for you, and it one for will you. it will count as blocked because most of the enemies they will want to want, yeah, they want to walk through paths that are two blocks wide, like this. Or. Mm. You get the points, and if you if you block off both, if you block off all of the entryways, they will start attacking the barricades. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and supposedly at the weakest point in your defenses, but I don't want to. Ooh, I don't want to good. try that out. This just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Voila. For now. Let's just stick it to them. Or stick it under them. Shop. Let's try again. Actually, there's no. We can't get a kill streak with that. Okay. Things will get a bit samey here. This is basically where I had stopped with the test run. Uh, yeah, these traps are just way easy to use, but we won't be able to use them for everything all of the time. And well, the maps will get more complex as well. They're in the West Hall. Okay, bunch up. Oh, 
might as well deal with these remainers. Okay, another layer of spikes. And next round, I think we start renovating. But yeah, sometimes it can take a bit of time for them to get to your traps. So, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll just kill these myself. I don't think headshots actually do much of anything except for, well, <laughs> dragon rights. I do drop the headshots occasionally, so... Getting a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, just just all of the banter with these guys also just adds to this game, I'd say. But simply put, this game is fun. Even if you're playing it solo, yeah, you <laughs> you still have the orcs to get entertained by. And the second game had multiplayer, right? Yeah. And number three should as well. Hmm. Let's see, maybe I'll die it, uh, the second one. <laughs> yeah, then we can play this together. Yeah, and that would sort of make a this screen for you. One for Interesting, you, like. And one for it probably you. could be. But we have streamed DeepRock together as a fact of but could be interesting to stream this together. Hmm. Well, the second one. I wonder. Oh, okay. I I never actually thought of this before. Picking these okay. up with the wind belt. That should be able to help a lot. Yeah, that should be able to deal with some big ass groups of them. Uh, pardon. <laughs> You've had a piece of drink. Okay. These here. You never see this coming. I thought you did not want the arrow towers to shoot each other. Mm, true. Let's let's have it come at them from the front instead of the back. No real reason why specifically. Bit limited on space with the archers. Hmm. We have another one good for the tower of the west too. Yeah, we're out of we're out of coin at the moment. Oh, all right. Uh, let, let's see. When do orcs and ogres work together? Okay, let's rumble, big fella. Yeah, the graphics can be a bit uh, choppy like that. Uh, yeah, this is the first. Oh, oh, I... Oh, damn, I forgot these guys. Yeah, ogres deal area damage. So, yeah, that got the barricades. Hmm. So, basically, they can destroy barricades. Yeah, they, they can accidentally destroy your barricades and open up pots. Um. Okay, so that's... 
And we don't have enough. Okay, that, that's going to slow them down even still, since they can't go this way now. They have to go around and basically with tower defense games like this, you just, you have... One of the best ways to win is to make the enemies go the longest way possible. Because, yeah, well, the longer they, they have to travel, the more time you have to kick their ass. And the more time they spend uh, near your traps. Okay, the other way just bounced back from the blockade. In the meantime, make the past even longer. And, well, wait for them to enter the meat grinder. <laughs> oh. There he is. Almost dead. Okay. This will hurt. Coin. Okay, we'll be the new archer. Expect that to hit anything. <laughs> well done! Come on, you should have an achievement for that. Uh, that. That's also a useful thing about Streamline. That is a lot of freaking orcs on the other side. And wait, what the. Okay, for a moment it looked like they were breaking through. It, it would be nice to have an orchid back there. Oh, come yeah. on. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should rely less on the Guardians after all, since, well... Yeah, you run a little bit... Maybe I'll be weak, but I think you run now a little bit too much. Anyways, as I was going to say... Uh, damn it. As I was going to say, these streams are also useful in the, uh, well... Evidence of <laughs> random bullshit like that. Okay, one more. Okay. It's oh, that... there. Oh, we have a lot of money now. Yep. Okay, now we can do some arrow wars uh, again. Yep. And we put putting these in for ogres. Although, though, I almost said Alhu well, which is, well, although in Dutch. Okay. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. No, wait, other way around. Hmm. It won't really help to expand this further than this. Because, yeah, half of them are going to get in from here. Hmm. Can we put up another of you? I, I just really like that, that jingle. It's, it's nostalgic for me. Understandable. Anyway, I think I used to have something. Uh, mm -hmm. how many blocks away are you from the current barricade? Uh, wh what do you mean? 
I mean, are you far enough to put arrows behind you for it to reach another layer of barricade that is closer to it? But can they, the arrow wall shoot over barricades? I don't actually know. We can we can build a little test on that side for that. For now, though, one more archer here. I, I get the feeling I might actually. Let's try a little something. You serious? You can put arrows just up on the bridge or over you. Yeah, they could go up there, but the. This would give them the longest firing range. Although, actually... Who wants more traps? I do, I do. Okay, now it now they're both now all of them are going through the same path. Um, Ooh, move that, put that. Yeah, now we have more space with put, put more uh, arrow or towers. Uh, out towers, I mean, and out more. Uh, arrow walls, I mean, I mean, I mean. Hmm. Okay, let's put up that little test on the other side. And yeah, I was basically thinking if I space these guys out a bit more to the back and such that maybe I can fit in another one like ah. this now but then there's the chance that this guy might shoot his friend in the back of the head like they did me yeah all right this will be good that's gonna leave a mark okay that should shoot over it but we'll only actually we might as well put it on a path where most of them will come across uh, though here? actually here that won't really help there is that going to change their path to any Okay. Uh, experiment go. <laughs> yeah, that, that choppy movement when they are further away is to basically save on graphic uh, memory. Though why they do it more, why they do it as well when they're close, uh, don't ask me. And yeah, that confirms it. They can hit over it. But it do some of the bolts do get blocked by it. But they seem a work milky tactic feel in a way. Mm, not really, I'd say. Because, yeah, some of the damage gets blocked and these two together are quite expensive. Uh, wait, wait, um. And alright, and then there are things like uh, the cobalt, where we just uh, probably avoid the arrow damage because they, they are so small. Yep. You know, they're the same height as the barricade. <laughs> what the heck happened there? I uh, don't know. It's okay. like this Any game is better with Ragdoll physics. Okay, and one more of you. And this should be as good as it gets. Can I pull that off again? No, <laughs> not on one shot at least. Uh, 
Oh, I, for I forgot to sell those two. Okay, the rest should just be get killed off here. So, again, I just look to the mini maps and see that absolute river of red. <laughs> just almost had a bit of a hard. Almost had my heart skip a beat at thinking they would get past the barricade. <laughs> Less overload over here. It'll send them out a bit. But I think this might be the last of the waves. Okay, I stand corrected. And not enough cash. And again, I forget to sell those two. <laughs> oh well. Oh, here comes an ogre. Yeah. And there we go. Get shrugged. Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, crap, crap. I didn't think of that. Oh, another over. Oh, my, get moving, get And... Okay, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't as good as an idea as we thought, huh? Yeah, this is just a <laughs> That was close. <laughs> yeah, we, we earned that singular skull on that. Yeah, the idea was good until there was a second ogre going that far. Yeah. Though we should have expected that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not to the meat grinder yet, but uh, it grinds. <laughs> it chops up meat for the chicken. <laughs> Once asked the old break. man what would happen if the orcs made it through the rifts into our world. He got all gloomy faced and said, Step out into their shattered dead world beyond the fortress gates, and you will know. Oh yeah. I could have just said it, it'd be bad. <laughs> okay, let's see. Choke points are here and there. So, standards as usual. And, okay, I was pro I didn't think these arches were actually that good, but uh, yeah, they've proven themselves now. Yep, just a matter of uh, using them wisely. Yeah. Like and in the other track. It's the entire ensemble now, though. I don't think the arches will be as useful here. Because there isn't as long of a range for them to fire down. Alright, so this is not a archer map then. We haven't really used these and they actually aren't that useful because, well, they get set off by the first thing that steps on them. And have quite a bit of a recharge, I think. 
But... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for those. Let's see. This is the shortest way. Oh, actually, where... Oh, do they actually get up this side? No, they don't. So... There's only two doors. Okay, so barricading this is a bit of a waste. Hmm. Alright, let's block this place off then. Sometimes it works by just putting, by just leaving these single passageways, but not always, as you can see. Step I, right this way, the cobots can still fit through. Yeah, but they seem to be made for that. Hmm. Maybe archers could be useful here, but then oh, half of what, here. half of the flow would bypass them. Maybe, maybe I could block them. Uh, yeah, maybe I could block a, a bunch of them in here, give them a good firing line down this way. But if an ogre were to go after them, then yeah, they'd be screwed. Yeah, as a, will the ogre attack anything in its path if something shoots it? Uh, I think if yeah, I think it, attacking it will aggro it. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, what if it works and the ogre behind the, the barricades, as long as they're not too close to the barricade, due to its AOA damage? True, but that doesn't leave enough room here, I think. Uh, possible. Okay, so this place is basically for putting down archers and such, I'd guess. But for now... Yeah, we only have this as a real choke point left, and we... Okay, we can put these down. Let's see. And let's just... Let's just start with the classic. Just for you. And then we start upgrading once we get more credit. Yep. Uh, yeah, you, you don't, you don't get anything ac <clears throat> extra for getting headshots, but it does deal extra damage. to work towards those. that we're basically going to be walking tour having to avoid blade and arrows. Okay, I will... Uh, is the other door? Oh, is it rather small though, so... Okay, there's... Okay, there's none coming up from above. So I can... I can pick these off as much as I want. Okay, 
if I actually manage to lead the targets a bit. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> okay, now things are getting a bit problematic. Okay. Not, I just removed that one Looking good. there. Okay, then. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure these are an instant kill on any of the basic enemies. This won't hurt a bit. Let's see. Okay, Cobots will probably still be able to slip past that. Actually, I think all of them will be able to slip past that. So instead, let's put that back one. He's a bit more cramped here. This will hurt. Yeah. Those walls seem to be very good at any pop up is just too wide, so they are on both sides then. But any pop up you can do that is what we did on both level, they also be good on. Okay, I see now how the arches would be useful. By just building a well, a pathway through here, then archers here would be able to shoot them and yeah, shoot at them to their hearts con hearts content, or preferably here in case of ogre. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, this will be what I'll be working towards. But for now, we should probably focus on. Spike traps to just get more. Yes, as as, uh, as strong as those traps are, they uh, yeah they are a bit slow to fire up. And yeah, we're also going to have to deal with more uh, obnoxious <coughs> flooring. This just doesn't seem fair. That's gonna leave a mark. Some new decorations. Mm, not all of them will go over these. Let's put these last ones in as part of a specific Sometimes one. I almost feel bad for the orcs. Except not really. That should send them out better than having them over here. these two on the other side because I can pretty much hold them off here. One of them went breakdancing again. Yes. Okay. Uh, wait, I, why can't I? There we go. I'm so clever. 
And I probably should have put a tar pit there. Actually. Oh, now I can see how ugly the orcs are. Oh, oh, oh. This is not being pixelated for now. We, we still need to figure out how the hell to fix that. Because it keeps happening, even with Nitro. And I've forgotten that where it was led here. I think it might be due to uh, our block then, but... I thought to, to my mother and we are upgrading it. So I had not noticed the chandeliers. You should put the chandeliers before. Yeah, those things hit in a big area. No, you're not getting this set up, that one on your own. Uh, the heck are you going? Yep. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. He liked that trap so much he went for over, he went for it again. <laughs> Some new decorations. Mm. That's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, this is less efficient. Rather well. Coming up, serving for seven. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's start the path. Cheaper to put these other wall here. This will be fun. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. No way, other way around. Try this on for size. Some new decorations. See what you what you doing like that. Okay. Yeah, the arrow trap, the arrow walls are actually less effective here, though they could shoot across to a second lane. Hmm. But I think these will be more effective. If you find another wall that allows you to shoot uh, along a long lane, it will be do good to. Uh, yeah, that's another... Yeah, that's not going to happen without a bunch of barricades. Or we replace the windows... <laughs> ...with walls. Yeah, we, we should have... We should have picked up the archers instead of the arrow walls. Well, yes. if we do lose, we know what to do. There we go. 
I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna try Kobolds incoming on the other stairs. Or not. Okay. Okay, come on in. Yeah, that does not do a lot to him at all. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, the red traps are good against the orcs, not the ogres. You could put some arrows around here. Good, yeah. Could at least work as a well early thinner. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing that we don't get caught up like Abe in Abe's Odyssey. Yeah. And yeah, it, these things have quite an area of effect as well, as you can see. Nope. It, it, it's hardly even slow. Was it charging? It looked like it was charging at me. Serving the last one. I've actually forgotten how devastating those axe traps were. When placed correctly, it will be devastating. Oh, you have an idea. Two tall traps and two axe traps at that spot. And that's why those things are annoying. They set off the traps early. Basically ensuring that, yeah, it will be on cooldown when the rest arrive. Unless, of course, you have a bunch of these in a row. Just as I'm about to say, are there any ogres? Ogre. Oh, ogre for you. There's just something adorable about uh, the apprentice, huh? That's a much better store than score. 
than last time. It does remind me of you somehow. <laughs> well, blade traps do more damage. Uh, maybe not yet. Uh, we also don't have enough skulls, anyways. Ah, yeah, this one. I don't think I've ever used this one really. I feel more connected to the rifts every time I defend one. It's like they're filling my head with a more smartness. Let's... Hey. Yeah, he he's not the brightest torch uh, in the armory. Some free archers that Ian already got. And a bunch of uh, explosive barrels. Ah, hellbat. Yeah, that's why the archers are here. Let's start with our new favorite. And let's see. Well, what kind of map do we have? What can we do? This one seems to kind of allow some arrow traps. Ooh, this one's going. This one's going to get broken down. And yeah, you can you can see the hell bats pass in the air. And uh, wait, look up. Yeah, chandeliers. A lot of them. Okay, so archers. Actually, no. Barricade first. Arrow trap, archer. We have a new slot as well, it seems. Um, a part of me wants to bring these along. Is that wait? Can I fling them into the pit? Yeah. Well, that could be a good choice. Where should we be an ogre? Hmm. Spring trap or wall blades? Wait, or... spring traps here! Wrong! Wrong franchise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems that we're Maybe. almost at two hours, but let's keep going for this one last more. I won't object. Yeah, let's just see how it does. Don't think I've ever really used it. This will be good. I like this one. Gee, I hope nobody gets hurt. No, I don't. Hmm. Okay, nope. No pit trap, spike traps. And after you've, uh, after you filled all of the slots and closed the spellbook, you can't open it back up. I'm trying to press B right now. You have to restart the mission for that. Oh. So yeah, bit of a flaw. Hmm. Hopefully the tall traps and the arrows will be enough. And we do have chandelier. And uh, yeah, that just means that we'll have to be even more active with this now. And do remember, you can blow them into the pit. Yeah. That's a bunch. Nice. Okay. Um, arches. Actually, I'll have to move this back once this door starts breaking down. 
And here come the Hellbats. I see them on the minimap on the right. Nice. In the air. Look at you. Actually, I, I could just wait here. Archers won't actively aim for the barricades, but due to their uh, low accuracy, they're bound to hit them anyways. Okay, and yeah, we, we could sell this at a this, but we, we could sell this, but we'd be handing in a lot of money. Honestly, that'd be the perfect spot for a... That's a bunch of them. <laughs> it's okay. Please, all of them. Hey, you can load all in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, I didn't actually see if there's ogres on this map or not. We should probably take three hours to make sure we plan ahead. Okay. One of us got through, but got thrown out. Yeah, that, that's also why the spring trap isn't as good, really. Uh, now they're going to come through here. So we move all of this back. And let's see. Try this on for size. Hmm. Yeah, this way around the placement is a bit worse. This'll hurt. That's just add orcs and bled. Looking good. Can we actually? I do want to be careful of where I put these guys. If there are... Actually, if I put them here, they will have a l quite a long firing range on these guys. Standing a bit. It should be quite helpful enough. And they seem to be got a bit better uh, organizing on the trap. Is that going to affect their path much? Okay, it won't affect their path too much. Hmm. One more of you. This way they can fire that way without hitting each other, and this way without hitting each other. Flyers in the air. Ah, there they are. Sweet. Come on. Yeah, these pests have quite a bit of health unless you get a headshot on them. Oh. 
I still got one. Need the shot just a bit. See, I think you could only get. Have some help for I want really all up there. Yeah. Hmm. Set it and forget it. That's gonna Not really the best, but okay. Flyers. Actually, yeah, that's probably that would probably be the best idea to have them over there, where they're out of range. Mass bath. <laughs> That's how it's done. How many free orbs are there up on those uh, ramparts? Uh, there's only three arches up there. Okay, no, now I don't need to worry about staggering them. Now I can just put down as many as I want. Oh, uh, you're still dead, yeah. huh? Not the best time for break dancing. I guess we could have put arches up here as well. Um, oh, <laughs> that was the last one. Let's okay. see. Let me me through this trap area. Let's see. Why are there no... Why are there no guidelines for where are we coming? Coming? Did I, did I accidentally mix going and coming there? With... I think if we do it like this, they should mostly stick to the tar path. Hmm. If we do it like this, I'm pretty sure they will. Even if they split up, they'll have to bunch back up here. And I think the headshots only really count when the cursor is green. That way you can't spam 
uh, on a target and try to get a hit, get a headshots in the crowds. Speaking of. Okay, they're getting minced up there. And An archer has fallen. So is that guy. Uh, they, these health bats bob up and down just a tiny amount. Just enough to throw off your aim on headshots. Actually. There you go. Just for safety. And you finally get some colleagues to work with. Watch out. They have Obis. Oh. Okay, he's turning into a pin cushion. And there he goes. Yeah. The spring trap isn't that. Aren't you supposed to go somewhere? <laughs> oh, little idiots. Let me grab that. They already dealt with him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they, they, okay, now we can just sit back. Okay, they are artists all very good. I think you have a good placement for them. Yeah, and a bunch of them. And don't get too many of these freaking archer counter archers. And there we go. Well done. Not a perfect score, but still a good one. Let's see. I'm I'm actually thinking about upgrading these guys to make get a little bit more of them. Yes, my things are short snare. Snare is good. Yeah, it it means that it slows them for a bit. Yeah, you have a tall trap basically. Um, maybe not a tall trap, but anything that slows and damage and makes a good uh, in front of an arrow trap or another trap, why not? Uh, yeah, we still have plenty of levels to go. Let, let's see. Okay, a bit of a different sound. Uh, I'm with them. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 levels total, and we got through 9. So if that keeps up, we'd be done in 3 streams. But nine. these are obviously going to get longer and tougher. So I'm going to take a bet on 4. Eh, 4 would be a fair amount for this kind of game. Either way, though, let's see if anyone has been watching. Junket thing, and actually, no bots this time. 
and that actually doesn't show up on the camera because <laughs> my the entire screen of my phone is just a blank white on that. So uh, yeah, so, oh, oh, I've been sitting in this thing a bit too long. Okay. <clears throat> Ow. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching, Junker Thing, and of course, as always, a special thanks to you, Drake here. Oh, you're most welcome, lad. And yeah, next time, more orcs must die. Yeah! But as always, until then. Be safe, folks! <laughs>